Hey there, and welcome to Maker HD, where we inspire you to do amazing DIY projects in your own home. Today, we're going to take this ordinary framing nail and create amazing mini swords like these. So stay tuned. Okay, so here are a few of the things we'll be using today. A set of vice grips. Ordinary framing and finish nails, non-galvanized. A pair of pliers. A propane plumber's torch. A soldering iron and solder. In this case, we'll actually just be using the solder. And lastly, files. We'll want a series of different types of files. We'll place links to these and other helpful tools in the description box below. Okay, so we're going to start with an ordinary framing nail. We want to make sure it's non-galvanized. We don't want any of that galvanization coating, which could burn off later on when we heat the nail up and off-gas and could be harmful. So now we're going to use a punch and we're going to go ahead and set that center point and we're going to drill a hole this will be a hole that we'll use later but this is the best time to drill it now okay we'll go ahead and take a file and file down all those rough edges all right on to the next step now we're going to be using vice grips to hold the nail in place and in this case a propane plumber's torch to heat the nail up. We're going to heat it up until it's glowing orange and that's when we can go ahead and start hammering on it. Now we're turning the nail as we hammer and we're just trying to flatten out the head of the or extend out the head of the nail. Go ahead and heat that up more until it's glowing and just rotate, 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 rotate. Heat it up again. This will cool down very quickly, so we do need to move fairly quickly. Here we're working on the head of the nail again. Let's go ahead and extend that out downwards. Just want to make it look a little bit more like the pommel, the bottom part of a sword. Okay, so I'm taking a grinding wheel that I got from my Dremel set and I'm putting it in my drill press. So this is going to allow me to turn on the drill press and have both hands free to manipulate the nail. And here I'm just grinding down the head there so it looks a little bit more like the pommel of a sword. Now if you don't have a grinding wheel from a Dremel, if you don't have a drill press, there are a lot of different ways you can do this. You can absolutely use a file, you can use sandpaper, it'll take longer, but um, you can do what we're doing here which is put the nail into the drill press. You can do that with an ordinary drill. The drill press just holds it in place for us. And now we're going to file down the handle portion to make it look a little bit more like the handle of a sword. Okay, and this is the result. This is the handle and the pommel. It's best to do this at the beginning because we're able to load it into the drill press while it's still round. Okay, now we'll go ahead and use the vice grip and we'll heat up the tip of the sword. Again, until it's glowing orange. And then we'll go ahead and start hammering on it. You just want to make sure you're hammering in alignment with that hole that you drilled earlier. Going to keep working our way down the sword a little bit at a time. Heat it, hammer it, heat it, hammer it. Rinse and repeat. Now as we're doing it, you'll notice there's a curvature forming. Here we're going to deal with that curvature a little bit. See it's already a little bit straighter. All right, keep hammering that down. 
making sure we're getting the thickness that we're looking for. And this will take a while. You'll want to go through and heat up different areas and hammer them down and try to get as consistent a look as possible. Okay, we'll take it back to that grinding wheel and we'll just grind down the center portion because we didn't hammer on that area as much. We didn't want it as wide. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clamp it down to the vise and now take a larger file and file away at it. Now I'm filing both edges at an angle to try to get those edges down to where they're fairly sharp. This is never going to be true sword sharp, but it makes a good letter opener when it's done. Let's go ahead and file away. We'll flip it over, clamp it down again. And here we're just going to file down that thicker section in the middle, just above the grip. At this point, you can really see it coming along. It's looking more like a sword. Okay, we need to do a little more work on that center section that was thicker. We want to take down that thickness. We don't want it to be the thickness of the original nail. We want it to be more consistent with the rest of the thickness up the sword. Okay, it's time for the sandpaper. So this is more of a finishing step. So we'll get everything looking nice and consistent, nice and smooth, nice and shiny. And it'll help you bring that edge up to hopefully that level of sharpness that you're looking for. Now we're going to just twist around the handle. And now we're moving on to the finish nail. We're going to take one finish nail and this is going to end up going into that hole that we originally drilled. Just tap that in there. Should fit snugly if you have the right drill bit size. If it's not perfectly perpendicular, you can go ahead and make a couple adjustments. Go ahead and chop off the tip there and then hammer it down so it stays tightly in place. All right. Now go ahead and flatten out the ends of the nail. and then bend them upwards. You don't have to bend them upwards. You can bend them whichever way you'd like for the type of sword that you're designing. And we'll just go ahead and work the ends of that finish nail. Okay, so this was a little bit askew. So I'm just sticking it in the vise and just applying pressure to straighten it. So here it is, the finished sword from an ordinary household framing nail. Okay, so that's our first mini sword. Now, if you enjoyed that, please click the subscribe button. We'd love to show you more videos like this in the future. Now, on to our next sword. Okay, again, starting with an ordinary framing nail, and we're making sure it's non-galvanized. In this case, we're gonna use the punch on the top of the nail. And we wanna go ahead and drill out the top of the nail. We're gonna use the head of the nail for the guard later on. So we wanna go ahead and get that drilled out. Use a punch again if you need to straighten out that hole. Once you've drilled it out quite a bit, go ahead and mount it the other way in the vise and cut the head off. Okay, you've got your guard. And now we're going to go ahead and do a lot of filing on this blade. We don't want to hammer out this blade because we don't want it to be wide. We want it to be the same thickness as the handle. This is going to be a samurai style sword. Keep rotating it and filing down. Okay, we're going to work on that tip a little bit because we do want a blunt end on this blade. So we file down that tip, 
do a little more work on that later. Give you a little view of it there. And we'll keep working. Okay, we've got that tip down very blunt. And now we're going to heat it up because we want to give it that signature curvature that's so common in samurai swords. So go ahead and just bend on it once it's heated up. Get it from a couple different angles there. Okay, we've got the blade about where we want it, so it's sanding time. Go ahead and sand it down, give it that finished, polished look. So we're going to take the guard that was the head of the nail initially, and in this case we need to drill a little bit of a bigger hole. So we're going to go ahead and drill that out, and then it'll fit over the end of the nail nicely. Just going to file it down a little bit, get it smoother. Just want to work that as much as you feel like it needs. So we've got the pieces together, but they are loose. So we're actually going to use some solder in this case. And we're going to go ahead and heat the sword up. And just place the solder on the hot sword. May have to go over it a few times here. May have to reheat it and apply more solder. All the excess solder we'll go ahead and remove later. Okay, we'll go ahead and flip it over. It's a little bit hot right now. Flip it over and we'll apply some solder to the top. Just heat it up till that solder melts and apply the solder there. Solder is looking pretty good. Just some last touch ups here. And we are good to go. Go ahead and start using the hacksaw to get rid of that excess solder. Comes right off, file the area down, and get to finish sanding. And get that little burr off the bottom. Okay, we're done with the metalwork aspect, and now we'll work on wrapping the handle. So we're going to take some white thread and some black thread. We'll start with the white thread. We'll make a knot and we'll loop that over a couple of times. And then we'll put that at the very end of the handle. Tighten it down and start wrapping from the bottom all the way to the top. Cut off the excess and keep wrapping. This is a slow process, takes a little time, but be patient. I actually had to do it twice to get it to look the way I wanted it to look. So take your time. Feel free to start over. It's just thread. Okay, we'll get to the end. And we'll put that same knot, double loop it over at the end and go ahead and snip that off. So that's our bottom layer. And then we're going to go ahead and do the crosses with the black layer. So create that loop, put it all the way at the top now of the handle wrap it a couple of times, and now we're gonna create X's. So we're gonna create a spiral from the top to the bottom, and then we're gonna come back up and create a series of X's. And then we're gonna go over those X's up and down, up and down several times to build up that black area. So you only see the white in the voids between the X's. This wrapping does take some time, Take some patience. Okay, go ahead and wrap over it several times until you get the thickness of black that you're looking for. And then go ahead and do one more of those knots at the very top. Snip off any excess here. And we are done. This is our finished sword. Pretty impressive considering it started its life as a framing nail. All right, so thanks for watching those two tutorials on two amazing mini swords from Framing Nails. 
We have much more content on the way, so please hit the subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell us in the comments section what videos you'd like to see us make in the future. We're going to be creating a lot more videos like this, and we want your input on what to create. So please hit the subscribe button, please comment below, and if you like the video, give us a like, and we will see you in the next video.